Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the YouTube channel. I'm not at either of my sets, so what the heck am I doing? Honestly, I don't know either. So I got this idea the other day, what if I edited 4K footage on a Mac Mini? Not just any Mac Mini, a 2009 Mac Mini. This is gonna be horrible. So for PTG conversions, I bought a 2009 Mac Mini to handle the 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 bulk, the processes of converting VHS and cassette tapes into my formats like MP4, DVD, Blu-ray, etc. So I thought, yes, I'm gonna edit 4K footage on on this Mac. So I thought this would be a fun video idea. So let's get into it. So before I recorded this video, I did import these. These four, these four files right here, and I also already edited the audio on my computer. So this should work perfectly fine. Just, I uh, just gotta import this all into Final Cut Pro. So let's open Final Cut Pro. Let's let's see what kind of garbage Final Cut Pro. This is an old version of Final Cut Pro. It cannot run the new version of Final Cut Pro, which is just, come on, man. So firstly, let's go and file new library. Oh, already we're getting editing projects with 4K or larger resolution. It's not recommended on this computer. <laughs> you may experience performance issues. Um, okay, import selected. Um, oh, geez a whiz. I don't think we can, mm, we need to make proxy files. We're just importing the media and making some proxy files. It really might take a while. Guys, let's try and start editing from the original media. <laughs> this is gonna be a really bad idea. Okay, so let's drag a uh, new project. Okay, okay, let's drag in our, our video files into here, into our timeline. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Hashtag Ask Paul Show, the show where I it's kind of laggy. Yeah, you think it's... I don't it's, like that. I don't like it either, so we need to go with our proxy files. So proxies are taking forever, so I thought, why don't I do some color correction right now? Oh man, this is what the computer needs, some color correction, which is not gonna make it any buggier at all. Okay, so let's drop some color correct... Ooh, that's not what I want. Let's drop some color correction on this guy before after. So um, it looks like the proxy files are gonna take another like two hours to load. So I'm gonna just continue editing with the original media and deal with a, a lot of lag. So this experiment is really just trying to see if it's even possible to edit 4K footage. So let's see if it is. So I'm gonna be editing a little bit of this video and just see how scrubbing speed is. So obviously in optimized media, it's you can't, you cannot live scrub. Like you cannot live scrub at all. Um, it is very, 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 very laggy. Uh, let's see if we can maybe play the footage. Hello, everyone. Hello. You cannot play the footage in optimized media. Um, I'm hoping you might be able to in proxy because that would be a saving grace. The other thing that I want to try is see, can I like just, okay, good. So here's the issue. So Chloe, if you, if you want to look at this, when I scroll across the timeline, it can't like render, it can't, doesn't keep up with me. Like it cannot, yes, okay, the first one's done. So we should be able to load proxy media for the one file so that we can start editing a little bit. Uh, okay, let's go to proxy. Um, yes, good, we're able to edit. Can we edit videos in proxy? Uh, yes, it can keep up from where the proxy is just about. It's still slow, but it, it can keep up. So let's see, scrubbing, yes, I am very surprised. We can scrub, it's not the smoothest scrub, but we can scrub, that, this is promising. So, you know, with proxy files, they make them very, very small and they compress it a lot. So let's see if we can play the edit. Let's play it in three, two, one, go. Oh no! These are like 20 megabyte files and still cannot play it at the full resolution. Oh my gosh. That's really disappointing. I kind of was hoping for it. So yeah, uh, you really can't edit that well on this machine. Really what I was expecting, but it's really disappointing. I was really thinking that I would be able to edit the footage in proxy files just because of how compressed they truly are. I really wish that you could, though scrubbing is relatively nice. It does work. It sucks though, I was able to do some color correction on this and still edit. I even tried rendering it and playing the rendered files and it was still buggy. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say. The 2009 $100 Mac Mini that I used for PDG conversions does not hold up 
Obviously. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed me editing on this 2009 Mac Mini with 4 gigabytes of RAM, leave a like on the video. Greatly appreciated. What computer do you have? Do you have any old computers lying around? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you guys are new here, please smash the subscribe button. If you guys want to, I upload videos multiple times a week. And if you guys have done already, make sure to push the notification bell. You totally, totally should. You get a brand new spanking notification whenever I upload a new video. That's awesome, and you totally should do that. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. That's where I'm going to leave you guys all today. Peace, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.